I'm Ted Drozdowski, Senior Editor of Premier Guitar, and here we are on the floor of 2018 Winter Nam in Anaheim, California, and we are with the folks from Team Meza Barba. And we're going to be talking today, we just heard Howie Simon play, and now we're going to be talking to JP, also known as uh, Giampaolo Savoni, who is uh, the American distributor for this amplifier line. Hey, JP, how are you, man? I'm okay. Hungry. Hungry. <laughs> yes. Fine. Yes. You don't hungry. eat, and I'm sure you just don't eat. No, you don't. You don't eat. You don't need, but we've got two new Mezzo Barbara amps today, yes. and one's a, com uh, a, a combo. So let's talk about the combo first. What's sure. it called? And, and give us this a is a Skill 30 combo, which is the smaller version of our main, you know, loud amp. You know, the 100 watt, watt uh, version of Mezzo Barba, yep. which is called M Zero Overdrive. Okay. These amps, including the Skill that we're talking about, they got two channels. They go from clean to boost. To overdrive distortion, okay. and uh, what's uh, you know the heart, the whole heart of these amps is that they are point to point handmade. And if I might say so, because I'm Italian myself, I'm going to repeat that point to point handmade in Italy. Okay. Okay. They make them in Italy. Okay. They're right next to the Lamborghini factory. You know how Italians are. The, you know Italians care about building classy stuff. I consider these guys classy amps. Well, it's a very clean, very good looking right. amp. Why don't you tell us what's under that, uh, what's under that cover? You know, what the uh, tube array is, the, the transformers, the speaker? Yeah, they, they use uh, JJ uh, tubes. This is a, uh, this is a EL34 okay. tubes. Uh, JJ uh, power and uh, preamp tubes. Their transformers are handmade specifically for them from a company in Italy again. Okay, and what's so that company the, called? Uh, Atari. Okay. Honori, I'm sorry, my oh, English. Okay. You know, I actually speak perfect English. I think this microphone I bought it in Italy, so it's got an accent. I'm it sorry. Does. It does. Okay, so uh, what's really good about this combo is that uh, it's almost wider ranging than the big amp because uh, it's extra clean, so you get really, really clean. And when you go into distortion, it really has the option to have a lot of distortion. So there's a wide range. It's very versatile and not too heavy. He made it so people can just grab it, go to the gigs, put them in the car. And, and you know what I mean? Instead of carrying something that it weighs, you know, 45 pounds. Yeah, what is the weight on this, you know? Uh, I, I need to ask. What's the weight on this? Quanto pesa? Eighteen kilos, kilos okay. which now you guys good in math, just do the, you know what I'm saying? Do your yeah, thing. It'll keep people engaged. That's okay. a good thing. Keep me posted. Okay. I don't know myself in English. Okay. And uh, the wattage, the output on it? Uh, thirty-five. Thirty-five. Uh, what's really good about this amp? That aside from the fact that it is thirty-five base, it does a power soak in it. So oh. full power, thirty-five. If you want less volume, you have the option to turn either the volume down, which is one way to get whatever tone you might get, or don't touch the volume and bring the power soak down. So you now you're playing at 20 watts, now you're playing on 10 watts, now you're playing on 5 watts, and, but the amps, the feel of the amp stays the same, which yep. I think is important. And is one of the chicken head dials on the front of that covering the power soak? I'm sorry? Is uh, the power soap covered on one of the controls in the yeah, front? Yeah, 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 all in the front. Okay. Quite easy to get. What is the control array? Why don't you tell us what's in there, right in the front? We got presence, treble, mids, bass, and uh, switches for the boost. Okay. Or now, which uh, the loop is switchable by the foot switch as well, so okay. we have, they can switch. And uh, the loop is very important, too. On both amps, so I'll say it about this, it, it goes equal for the M0 and M0 overdrive. Are you talking about an effects loop? Yeah, the loop in the back, right, the effects loop. What I like, what they did is sometimes, you know, when you plug into effect loop, things change, right? You know, it might have a send and return, you know, maybe there's an extra little EQ switch. I personally never liked that as a guitar player. But what they did, they said, you know something, let me build the amp where the sound that you get in, even if you don't plug in, it goes through the, the tube of the loop all the time on both ends so that sound that you get is there if you go into the loop nothing changes because okay. it's already there 
part of the, of the native of the amp, you know what I mean? Okay. Which is a big thing, because then, then the loop works. Okay. You know and let's hear, let's hear some of the channel yeah. switching. Howie, Howie what, uh, what mode were you playing in earlier in terms of the channels? Were you on boost? Were you straight up? I'm actually just the pretty face here. I don't know what he's got. <laughs> Okay, okay. But seriously, well, I, I, well, really I see it doesn't look like the boost or the overdrive are activated yet, so why don't you just why don't you just start stepping on things? Let's see what happens. Here's the boost right, on the clean. The boost boost on the clean. <laughs> Go, Howie. Boost on the clean. Okay, boost on clean. We're going to start with the bridge pickup. Alright. Bridge pickup. Exactly, the overdrive. Let's try it. Overdrive. Well, it sounds like the big one on a smaller version. That's why we made it. Okay. And what is this uh, amplifier priced at? Uh, let me check with the boss. Hey, boss, what's the price in English? Uh, Not in Vino. $24.99. $24.99 with a free bottle of Chianti. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and we have another amplifier to look at, don't we? Yeah, let's go to the, to the little head there. It's a Z18. Don't let it uh, don't let it confuse you with what it says 18 because if you want heavy volume on this guy, yep. very surprising. It's got a lot of headroom. Okay. If it's the cleanest amp that we make, uh, and it's so pure sounding, they choose not to put no reverb, no loop, no nothing. It's just straight tone. Okay. And we're talking about an 18. Six. It's yeah. an 18 watt amp. Right. Six okay. v six, very comfortable, very light. Myself with all the amps because you know I'm lucky that I can try them all. This guy is the most classy, clean, Nashville picker kind of thing, you know, that works very well with the pedals because it's uh, clean like a, an old basement, let's say, okay. right? You know, so we understand what that is, we all yep. know. Yep. And it, you know, those kind of amps take uh, the pedals very well. Okay, and I'm assuming we're going to hear it through one of these 4x12 cabs? Yeah, let's check it out, let's plug it in. Cool. Now, what kind of speakers are in the 4x12s, just to give us an idea? Uh, you know? Greenback uh, 25. Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, and now, JP, we're going to hear some of the Z18 head. You want to give Howie the cue and let him rip? Howie, go contra me. You go. So, like I said, very clean as a base, right? Now, we cannot turn it down here because they'll, they'll find us, you yes, know? Yes. But that sound stays like that all the way up. You know, it just gets a little bit crunchy, but with the pedals in the front, you got that option to really be super clean, spanky. Right, so it's a what great pedal press, platform. Or, yep. or, you know, a beautiful, old, classic rock, you know, 70s tone, you know yep. what I mean? Led Zeppelin one, you know, that kind of thing. Very good, very good. Yeah. And that doesn't have a, a boost or overdrive, no, that it just nothing. is no. what it is. Right, it is nice and clean, because you get the more pure tone. And that comes out out of the fact that we have a combo that is very successful. A lot of Nashville pickers like that combo, everybody liked that tone, so we decided to do the head, because it's a much more comfortable to move around, and you might have your own speakers that you like. Right. Now, earlier, uh, Pierre Angelo, who is the, uh, well, he is Pierre Angelo Mesa Barbara. His name is on these apps. He was telling me that uh, the company was started in 2013. And I've been hearing more and more about the company. So why don't we just get him over for a minute to say hi. And I just want to introduce you to folks who are probably curious about your amps, since you're relatively new in the States and uh, have a growing reputation. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. My pleasure. 
Angelo, tell him about where you came from real quick, from the Mazzotti to Mezzababri and why you did this. Yeah, I started in 98 uh, with Mazzotti guitar devices, so I founded uh, Mezzababri custom amplification in 2013. And yeah. why did you do that? Uh, because I'm a purist. Oh, pure, yeah, classic, classic yeah. guy. Well, thank you so much, guys. It's nice meeting you. And since the three of us are here, we should probably take a classic end of concert bow. Thank you all for tuning in to us here at Premier. Oh, and you know what? Get, tell me about your website. Where do we find out more about your amps? Uh, go to overdrivedistribution.com. Let me say that again with my accent. Do it. You know, the girls like it. Overdrivedistribution.com. Oh. Or you can go to the main one, which is international, which is mezzabarba.com. Okay. Well, thank you all for tuning in. We're uh, live at NAMM, and there's going to be a lot more to see and hear about what's going on at PremierGuitar.com, so tune in there. Gentlemen, shall we take a bow? Thank you! <laughs>